Okay, so good day class. So we are now on chapter 4 sa itong uh, module. Uh, whereas, here you will be uh, learning the morphology and classifications of your bacteria. Because we are now sa chapter 4, we are now on the topic of uh, bacteriology. With bacteriology class, uh, sa akong uh, college tayo, is isa gina sa ka-subject. Pero here, because in try naman compact uh, sad to say, cannot finish, uh, hindi, wala akong natapos sa, uh, hindi kaya nga mga compress siya into module 4 lang, so, gin divide into 4, at nga module 4 so, uh, uh, malawig-lawig din yung discussion, but uh, I will fasten this up, because mahawid yung maning module nyo, you will use this as your reference when taking your quizzes and also mga major exams so, uh, hold nyo lang gin na, okay so, dasigaw tato nga topic, ato nga discussion because apat pa sa kabilo so, morphology and classifications of your bacteria. Okay, so sa itong introduction, your microorganisms are heterogeneous group of several distinct classes of living beings. Based on the difference in cellular organization and biochemistry, the kingdom protesta had been divided into your two groups, namely your prokaryocytes and your eukaryocytes. Okay, your bacteria and green, uh, blue-green algae are prokaryocytes, while your fungi and other algaes like your mga slime mold and protozoa are your eukaryocytes. Bacteria are prokaryotic, okay, microorganisms that do not contain chlorophyll, but they are unicellular and do not show true branching, except in a higher branches or mga bacteria like your actinomycetales. Sa talis galit, mycetales. Actinomacitales. Okay? Uh, usually nga tales, hindi tales because uh, mga Latin na yung mga naming na sa una. So, this actinomacitales. Okay? Sa so, itong objective here, okay? After reading sa itong lesson, you will describe your, uh, your prokaryotic and your eukaryotic, the differences between them. You can explain the size of mga bacteria kung anong sa kagamay. You have your classification based on the shape and mga arrangement. You can describe the structure of your bacteria cell wall. Uh, you can describe the phases or lumagang ato ng growth curve. Okay, anong ginuminta ng growth curve? From the beginning sa iyong mga pag-cultivate, hasta nagdamo sila, hasta nga nagpatay. Okay, and also explain the factors affecting ang growth sa iyong mga bacteria. Okay, without further ado, you have your prokaryos, uh, prokaryotes. Okay, the prokaryotic cells have the following characteristics. Such as they are, okay, wala sila organelles. Okay? All the action takes place in a cytosol or your cytoplasmic membrane. You have here, this image is a bacteria or a prokaryote. Okay? Most bacteria possesses a peptido, a peptido, peptidoglycan, okay? a unique polymer that makes its synthesis a good target for antibiotics. Okay? So, ang ginatira sa mga antibiotics is your pap, uh, pap, yeah, pepto, uh, pep peptidoglycan. Okay, the peptidoglycan is ang arisa, which is the comprised of sang iyang cell wall or iyang outer part sang iyong mga bacteria. Naman, because without the outer layer here, okay, it is uh, very, uh, pwede sa masulod sa uh, other nga chemicals or maskin sa water pa lang and eventually the bacteria will die or burst. Okay, without the shell or iyang panit, okay, Protecting it, okay, the bacteria will not survive. Then you have your protein synthesis takes place in your cytosol with the structurally different ribosomes, okay? This is a picture of your prokaryote, like what I explained. You have mga different parts, okay? This is the cell wall, okay? The peptoglycan layer, yung cell wall, okay? Then you have your singular supercold uh, cir uh, cellular chromosomes, Okay, na yun ang ng protein synthesis. And you have your cytoplasms, okay, rich in uh, 70S ribosomes. Okay, dira ang protein synthesis sa itong cytoplasm. Then you have your cellular cell membrane, which is this, ang part ng body. Okay, then you have your plasmids. Then you have your prokaryote cell, okay, uh, in a 3D nga tsura. Okay, you have here chloroblast, uh, you have your nucleus, nucleus pore. Then you have your mga ribosomes. Then you have your mitochondria. Diyan. Magkatunag ng diya. Ito nagsala ng R. 
Then you have your smooth in the plasma reticulum, your Golgi apparatus sa inyong biology nagyan yun naman goro. You have your rough or your uh, rough in the plasma reticulum. Okay, then your nucleus. Okay, this one. Okay, this is a eukaryote nga cell. You have your eukaryote nga cell. Okay, you can see difference sa mga eukaryote nga cells. Okay, sa mga eukaryote is a 3D version. Naman, because you have your mga organelles. Okay, different parts. Okay, different parts have different purposes. Here is a table comparing sa atun nga prokaryotic and your eukaryotic. So, it's very easy to learn sa ako nga college. I will not lie. Okay, I had a hard time learning. Basta nakapasaran ko man kaya po. You have your nucleus sa prokaryote. Okay, you can see here, wala sang nucleus. So, absent. Then, you have here, Eukaryotes, sa mga eukaryotes, that is your nucleus, okay, and envelope and nucleus, a nucleus, okay, the nucleus. Then you have your membrane-bound organelles, okay, wala, absent. Or there you have present, you have your mitochondria, mitochondria, known as the power, a house of the cell, diraga, ubrasang, uh, energy, next so you have your cytoplasm, uh, cytoplasm for mga plants and lysosomes. Then you have your chromosome, uh, or yung DNA. Sa aton nga prokaryote, it is a single cold chromosome in a cytoplasm or your nucleoid uh, region and associated with a uh, histone-like proteins. Then, sa aton nga eukaryote, it's a multilinear chromosomes with histone proteins. So, histone-like lang. Dari sa aton nga prokaryotes. Then, sa eukaryote, you have histone proteins. Get. Then, sa aton nga cell wall, bacteria have cell wall of peptoglycan. Your archaea have cell walls of your pseudomorien. A pseudomorien. And sa itong uh, eukaryotes, wala cell wall. Okay? In animals. Pero sa itong nga, uh, nga plants, okay, you have cell wall. And sa itong nga mga fungal cell, you have your chitin. Okay? Kung sa itong nga cell walls sa plants, you have your cellulus. Okay? Hindi kayo sa, sa babaw. Clarify ko lang. Ha? Okay? No cell walls sa itong nga Animals, okay? Imagine na sa aton making as uh, humans. Kung may saluwal ka, okay? Hard ng imong nga skin. Okay? Then sa aton nga plants, you have your cellulose. Okay? Term sa aton nga plants, ha? Cellulose. 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 Ha? Ito pang mas nasig. Mas mayo sa basahon. Then your fungi, you have your chitin. Okay? That's why if you have a fungi infection sa iyong mga panit, mga buni, an -an, uh, mga alipunga, or mga warts, di ba? Gaharden ang iyong mga panit, may mga puti-puti da, because it is composed of chitin. Okay? Di ba? Dugatig A. Then you have your uh, mito uh, mitotic division. Okay? Wala sa eukaryotes, uh, sa prokaryotes, pero present sa eukaryote. Yung ribosome, okay? 70 L free in cytoplasm then you have your ATS both free in cyto, uh, cytoplasm and attached to a rough endoplasmic reticulum and ang mga 70S in your mitochondria and chromo, uh, chloroplast your flagella naman yung class okay it is the one gives motility kapina sa aton nga prokaryotes okay present consists of protein flagellin and sa aton nga eukaryotes Consists of 9 uh, plus 2 uh, or 9 or 11, 9 to 2 plus arrangement of the microtubule. Then you have your uh, cytoplasmic membrane lipids. Okay, if you, you bacteria, okay, composed of your fatty acid joined with a glycerol by ester linkage. Then if archaea naman siya, okay, separated na, okay, archaea is another part or division sa tong prokaryotes. It is composed of hydrocarbon joined by glycerol and either linkage. Then, sa itong nga uh, eukaryotes, fatty acid joined with the glycerol uh, by ester linkage. Okay? Dere, do combination. Okay? Sa itong nga uh, eukaryotes, you have your fatty acid, but it is joined by a glycerol by ester linkage. Okay? It's the same as that. Pero dere sa uh, archaea, archaea lang yung mga go separated. Archaea is uh, composed of your hydrocarbons. Okay. Then your mitochondria. 
wala sa powerhouse sa aton nga bacteria pero present sa imong nga eukarya your lysosome okay wala sa bacteria ara sa uh, eukarya then you have your guglai apparatus or your guglai body absent present your endoplasmic reticulum absent present okay now let us now go to bacteria itself okay the major class clarity uh, characteristic of your bacteria are based on their size, shape, and arrangement. So, first, sa itong size. The unit of measurement used in your bacteria is in micron or micrometer. Okay, this is one micron. Though, icon sang U-Torret. Nagigalamit ka mo sa una na, download ka mo mga movies. So, icon sang U-Torret. Then, you have here a micrometer. Okay, micrometer. Or, isa lang ka amun eh. Uh, understood na. Okay, 1,000 of a millimeter. Ayan, ayan, ha? Conversion. Okay, then you have 1 millimicron. Okay, millimicron. And 1 nanometer, 1,000 of a micron. Or 1 million of a millimeter. Then you have angstrom, angstrom unit. Or A, with a, may bilog-bilog, may kalok sa babaw. Okay, it's a 1 tenth of a nanometer. Okay, so mas gagamay nga gagamay. Okay, your 1 micron, your millimicron, and your angstron. Okay, the limit of the resolution of the unaided eye is about 200 micron. Bacteria are smaller than can be visualized under the magnification. Your bacteria of medical importance generally measures around 0 0.2 to 1.5 uh, okay, micron, uh, micrometer. Okay, micrometer. And uh, sa atong kuno, sa atong nga eyes, okay, hasta lang kita sa 200 microns ang makita mo. Okay, pero ang size sa atong mga bacteria is around 0 0.2 to 1.5 micro, uh, microns. Okay, and about 3 to 5 uh, micro microns in uh, length. Okay, the length. Diameter, ano ba diameter? is the uh, kalapadun. Okay, kung circle siya. Okay, it's the half half radius na. Pero nalipat na lang ko. The diameter is a half. Radius is just one lang line as tas tunga or center niya. Yeah. Then you have your length. Next is your microscope. Okay, na-explain ko na ni Gina. Let's just, just skip this sa ito yung chapter 3. Discuss naman ito. Uh, liwat lang ni. Then you have your stains. Okay, discuss ko lang ang uh, wala nga na-discuss nga stain. Okay, your stain preparation. Nga na-discuss ko to is your uh, gram stain and your acid fast. So, dire, um, medyo more detailed. So, may uh, dugang lang ko. Add-on lang. Okay, large bacteria do not show a structural detail under the light microscope due to the lack of your contrast. Hence, staining techniques are used to produce color contrast. Routine methods of your staining of bacteria involve dyeing and uh, fixing smears, okay? Produces that kills them, okay? Bacteria have an affinity to basic dyes due to acidic nature of their pro uh, protoplasm. Uh, the commonly used staining techniques are as follows. Okay, ano ginamin ni? Okay, in order to prepare a slide or a smear, okay, for staining, ginapatay mo ang bacteria. Therefore, you are looking at the dead bodies of the bacteria itself. Pinakuloran mo lang sila. Okay. First, simple stain. Okay. Dyes such as with your methylene blue or basic fuchsin are used for simple staining. So, kandiyan nyo lang ang duwa ka dyes nga na, which is your methylene blue and your basic fuchsin. Okay. Usually, ang name na sa laboratory sa itong basic fuchsin is carbo, carbol or carbo fuchsin. Okay. They provide color contrast but impart the same color to all bacteria. Ibig sabihin, you cannot differentiate. Okay? Next is your negative stain or negative staining. Okay, bacteria are mixed with the dye such as your Indian ink or negrosin black or negrosin okay, no, usually daan. Basta mabasa ko na ng pangalan sa dye. Dugagawa ganyan sa tinunan namun. Ang iyang full name din. Sa negrosin black. Okay? That provide a uniformly colored background against 
uh, which uh, the unstained bacteria stand out. Ibig sabihin, ang ginadaya ni is the background, leaving the bacteria alone. So, mas makita mong bacteria kay wala siya stain. Background mo is pure black. Okay? Uh, very slender bacteria like your spirochetes cannot be demonstrated by a simple standard methods and can be viewed by your negative staining. Okay, your impregnation methods. Okay, impregnation methods. Sabihin ka na kasulod mo ang dahil sa cell mismo. Cells are structures to tend to be seen under ordinary microscope may be rendered visible if they are impregnated with a silver on the surface. They are used for demonstration of your spirochetes and bacterial flagella. Okay, ang flagella ay laikong ikog ha. Okay, spirochetes. Makita nyo ni Karan. Anong shapes ang spirochetes. Okay. Differential stains, sorry na, uh, where you will know the difference sa color yung ginag-take sa itong bacteria. These stains impart different colors and different bacteria, uh, bacterial structures. The two most widely used differential stain is your gram stain and your acid fast. Okay, the gram stain revised by the histologist Christian Gram as the method of staining bacteria in tissue. Okay, gram positive cells are simpler chemical structure with the acid proto. Awesome. It has a thick peptoglycan layer, okay, uh, thicuic acid as intertwined at intertwined among the peptoglycan and uh, thicuic acid are a major surface antigen determinant, okay. Therefore, ang imong gram negative naman yah, okay, kaya ang gram positive ta it takes uh, color blue. And your gram negative is color red. Okay, gram negative cells are more complex. They are rich in your lipid. Okay, the membrane is uh, bilayered uh, bi as phospholipids, uh, composed also with your protein and lipopolysaccharide. Okay, your lipopolysaccharide or your LPS li. Okay, di kayo nakuha yung L. Lipo, na yung L. Then you have your poly, is your P. And your saccharides is your S, lipopolysaccharide. They okay, are also known as your endotoxin. Okay, your gram-negative cells have a peptoglycan layer, which is a thin and formed by just one or two uh, molecules. No uh, thicuic acid are found in the cell wall of your gram-negative bacteria. The outer membrane has a, li a lipopro uh, lipopolysaccharide channels with porins which transfers the solute across the lipoprotein cross-link outer membrane and peptoglycan layer. Okay, uh, just uh, uh, summary, okay, difference between your gram negative and the gram positive, a gram positive and your gram negative is the composition of its cell wall, okay. Uh, difference uh, composition uh, allows and blocks different reagents. That's why you will use two different dyes para ma-color ang imong bacteria. Therefore, any presence ang bacteria that okay, will have different color. Na, sa truth be told, sa akong nga college time, I don't know if na-discuss kito ni sa amun. Pero I think mas brief lang to. Okay? Uh, Although we know the component of our cell wall, okay, we don't know to that extent. So, among gindugang ko gini, among mas laba gidya ang among chapter 4 because it is an introduction sa aton nga bacteriology. Next, we have gram reaction or may related to the permeability. Okay, ang nanin pakasulod na gid aton nga dye. The bacteria cell wall and cytoplasmic membrane to the dye iodine complex. Okay, the gram negative but not the gram positive cells. Okay, permitting the overflow of the complex during the decolorization. Okay, your gram staining is an essential procedure that used in the identification of your bacteria and it's frequently the only method required for the studying their morphology. Okay, the acid fast stain was discovered by rich okay who found that after staining with aniline dyes okay your tubercule bacilli resist decolorization with your acid the method uh, as modified by zeal and nielsen is now commonly used so man yung una nga nag discover then subong nga mga panahon okay ang method na ni zeal and nielsen okay, okay mas specific kami since as course ko nga medtech, we are always doing that dye mga procedure nga, na kagagwa ginisamon nga 
exam gate. Okay, now let us now proceed. Now that you have your uh, simple mga questions, you feel free to answer the question. Masi magwa mo sa quiz, dili mo lang kung dandu kwag gapon. Okay, you have your mga simple stain. Ano gamit mo da nga? Nga dai. Okay, you have your the goal method. Ano na di? You have your negative. Ano na? Now, let's now go to shapes sa ng bacteria. Okay, depending on their shape, bacteria are classified into several varieties. You have your cocci, or from the cocos meaning berry. Okay, or spherical or oval na cells. Next, your bacilli. Okay, from word baculus meaning rod, a rod a shape cell. Then you have your vibrios. Okay, they are comma shape. Or curved rods and derive their name from their characteristic vibratory motility. Okay, okay the way they move, vibra duga vibrate, vibratory motility. Then you have your spirella or spirochetes. Okay, are rigid spiral form. Online pa ng spirochetes nila. Okay, rigid spiral forms. Your spirochetes. Okay, from spirella meaning coiled and uh, kite meaning hair are uh, flexuous spiral forms. Then you have your actinomyces. Are branching filamentous bacteria so called because of a fancied resemblance of a radiating ray of sun? Okay, because of their flagella, dam dam, slab mga flagella or the hair like. Okay, tungod kayo magdano ka sa mga smear. Okay, do may radiate nga sun. Okay, tissue lesions, anactis meaning ray and uh, mycis meaning fungus. Then you have your mycoplasma, are bacteria that are cell wall deficient and hence do not possess a stable morphology. They occur around, as around or oval bodies as interlacing filaments. You have here visual sa nga ito nga uh, bacteria. Okay, your berry like, your cocos, your coco bacillus. Okay, pwede combination. Pwede pa itong bacillus, rod shape. Or here you have your coco bacillus. Uh, mar do medyo maraud, uh, raud. Your raud. Okay, do medyo raud. Okay, uh, rod shape, pero ga spear siya. So, it is coco bacillus. Then, you have your vibrio. Okay, do comma, or slant. Then, you have your spirillum and your spirochetes. Up here. Questions, lewat. Now, let's now proceed sa ilang uh, arrangement. Okay? Bacteria sometimes show characteristic or cellular arrangement or groupings. Okay? According to the plane of cellular division, your cocci may be arranged in pairs. Okay? Kung pair, it is called your diplococci. Then, if kung chain naman siya, it is streptococci. Then, if in a group of four, tandaan nyo lang, tetrads, or uh, then, kung eight naman niya, it is sarsena. Then, kung uh, do cluster gatingub ang imong mga cocci, it is now called Staphylococci. That's why, di ba, gambal kita to you have Staphylococcus aureus. Okay? Sa so, name nyo pa lang, you have Staphylococcus aureus. Therefore, kung magtanaw ko sa microscope, you will see a cluster of aureus or bacteria. Okay? Kaya sa iya pa lang ang alan, gira man ginabutang ang iya nga arrangement. Okay? You have here, group or questions, di Next is bacterial structures. Okay, the other layer of the cell and below consists of the two components: a rigid cell wall, and beneath it is a cytoplasmic or a plasma membrane. The cell envelope encloses the protoplasm, comprising the cytoplasm and cytoplasmic inclusion, such as your ribosomes and mesosomes. Your also your granules and your vacuoles are on the nuclear body. Okay, so anong ba atong nga structure? First, you have your cell wall. Okay, beneath the external structures of your cell wall is a very rigid and gives the shape of your cell. Okay, the main function is to prevent the cell from expanding and eventually burst due to the water uptake. Ginahold ya ang water sa sulod. Kaya magpatamaan siya sulod sa ang tubig. The cell will burst and eventually die. Cell wall consists of a significant portion of the dry way of the cell and it's essential for the bacterial growth and division. The cell wall cannot be seen by directly light microscope and does not stain with simple uh, staining. 
Okay, you have here your focus. Okay, yung salwoya. You have your rod shape. Mga basilus. You have your curd for the, which is your spirillum and spirochits. Your diplococcus or coxi in pairs. Okay, your nilceria. Okay, uh, trivia. Your nilceria gonorrhea is, aton nga layman's term, is your tulo. Uh, it is the one cause pain, cruciating pain sa mga lalaki, kung may naan na nila, pinatawo. Okay, then kung sa babae lang naman niya, ang Nicaea Gonorrhea will just uh, produce a moto may nana without the pain and may smell. Next, your Coco Basilai. Okay. Uh, may pagka-oval siya and also rod. Then you have your Vibrio, curved rods, your tra uh, Tetrads, your Sacran... Sar... Ang kapit lamang ko. Sarcina. Uh, Sarnia. Sarcinia. Okay, your mycobacteria, your corny bacteria, okay, your spirelia, okay, your streptococci, tumunin yung tsura sa microscope, katirintirin na sila, your microcoxi and staphylococci, and your spores, magdamin ko sa inyo. Okay, the bacteria is inside sa mga spores nila. Okay, gina-encase ya. Then you have your streptomyces, uh, uh, mold-like filamentous of those mga fungi. Then your spirochids. Okay, it may demonstrate in microdissection reaction with a specific antibody, a mechanical rupture of the cell, uh, differential staining procedures, or by electron microscopy. Okay, chemically, the cell wall is composed of your peptoglycan or mucopeptide. Okay, mucopeptide is uh, is either peptoglycan or morien. Okay, formed by N-acetyl glucosamine and N-acetyl muramic acid. Okay, alternating in chains, uh, cross-linked by your peptide chains. Embedded in it are polyalcohol called your uh, theoctic acid. Some are linked to lipid and called lip, uh, lipothiotic acid. Okay, your lipotoetic acid link peptoglycan to the cytoplasmic membrane and the peptoglycan gives rigidity. Okay, the function of your toetic acid are gives negative charge. Okay, major antigenic determinant. It also transports ion. Okay, it anchors and external permeability barrier. Ibig sabihin, your toetic acid prevents or protects your cell or mga bacteria from uh, more water intake. Okay? If maguba ang imong nga tweak acid, ang imong nga uh, what composes your cell wall, pag gusto or magdasig sa masud lang sa tubig, then bacteria will burst. Next, your characteristics. Okay, you have here uh, sa aton nga differential sa imong nga negative ka gram positive. Uh, you have your thickness. Okay, sa aton gram positive, it is thicker. Thinner sa aton negative. Parity of amino acids. You have a few and several lang sa negative. Sa itong nga lipids, okay, sa itong gram positive, okay, it is absent and present sa itong nga gram negative. Sa thiotic uh, acid, it is present sa itong gram positive and negative sa gram negative or absent. Your outer membrane naman niya, class, outer membrane is found only in your gram negative bacteria, Okay. It functions as an initial barrier to the environment and it's composed uh, lipopolysaccharides and phospholipid. Therefore, we need to learn what is your lipopolysaccharide. So your LPS present on the cell wall of your gram-negative bacteria account for their endotoxic activity and antigen specificity. Okay? A bacterium is referred as a protoplast when it is without cell wall. Okay, your cell wall may lose due, uh, lost due to lysosomes enzymes which destroys your peptoglycan. This cell is eventually lysed. Okay, if we are talking about microbiology or uh, mga cells, okay, if you read or heard the term lysed, okay, it means killing the bacteria. Okay, or sa mga names, mga lysed nga muna. Okay. It refers to killing the bacteria okay, or eating it, pagotizing it. Okay. 
uh, it is a metabolic activity but unable to reproduce. A bacterium with a damaged cell wall is referred as a speroplast. Okay? It is caused by an action of a toxic chemical or your antibiotics. Okay? Kaya ang Ang in ginatake sa antibiotics ta is your lipoprosaccharides or yung mga cell walls sa ating bacteria. Okay, they show a variety of forms and they able to change into normal form when the toxic agent is removed. When the growth, uh, an example, when the growth on a curve media. Next, the part or structure is your cytoplasmic membrane. Okay, your cytoplasmic membrane is present immediately beneath the cell wall. Found in the both gram neg and gram positive, it is a thin layer lining the inner surface of your cell wall and separate it from your cytoplasm. It acts semi-permeable membrane controlling the flow of your metabolites to and from the protoplasm. Okay, your cytoplasm naman yung class. Okay, the cytoplasm is a colloidal system containing a variety of organic and inorganic solute containing about 80% water and 20% salt, protein, and they are rich also in your ribosomes and RNA and fluid. Your DNA is a cellular haploid and they are highly coiled with a intermixed polyamines and support your proteins. Your plasmids naman are extracellular DNA. Okay, you have here a picture of your plasmid. Okay, this is a focused image of a plasmid. Okay, then you have your ribosomes. They are the center of the protein synthesis. They are slightly smaller than the ribosome of your eukaryotic cells. Uh, okay, we're talking about bacteria. So, we are on prokaryotes. Okay, it is being compared sa ito nga eukaryotic cells. Mas gamay ang ribosomes sa prokaryotes ng mga bacteria. Your mesosomes, they are vesicular convoluted tubules formed by the invigination of plasma membrane into cytoplasm. They are principally sites of respiration enzymes and help with cell reproductions. Your cytoplasmic inclusions naman yung class. Okay, the inclusion bodies are ag uh, aggregates of polymers produced when there is an excess of nutrients in the environment and they are the storage reserved for your granules. Uh, also, there are mga phosphate and others, mga other substances. Okay, Your bulletin granules are polymetaphosphates which are reserved for energy and phosphate for cell metabolism and they are also known as your metachromatic granules. Then for your nucleus naman niya, okay, the uh, the nucleus is not distinct and has no nuclear membrane or nucleus. Okay, and the genetic material consists of DNA. The cytoplasmic carriers or genetic uh, information are termed plasmids or episomes. Now, the capsule. Okay, the capsule is the outermost layer of the bacteria. Okay, ang bago lang, not all bacteria has capsules. Okay, so selected bacteria lang na ang may mga capsules. Okay, your capsule is the certain uh, outer layer or extra cellular. It is a condensed, uh, well-defined layer con uh, constantly surrounding the cell. They are usually polysaccharide, and if polysaccharide envelops the whole bacterium, it is a uh, capsule, and their production depends on the growth conditions. They are secreted by the cell into the external environment and highly impermeable. Highly impermeable. Yeah, bol, budlay siya kubon. Pwede ba? Ang purpose ng ato mga disinfectant is to destroy the cell wall para mas makasulod ang tubig kag magburst ang imo nga bacteria. Therefore, kay ayawan sila kasulod pa lang sa capsule. Okay, hindi nila mabutan ang cell wall kag makapa induce more water kag mapaburst. Okay, when it forms and loses a mesh work of fibrils extending outwards the cell, they are described as your glycocalyx. And when masses of your polymers that form appear to the total detached from the cell, if the cells are seen in trap in the described as a slime layer, the capsule protects against complement, uh, and it is anti phagocytic. Okay, anti phagocytic. Okay, di ba sa tungo ng biology the phagocyt uh, phagocytes. Phagocytes, okay, your phagocytes, example yun na is your white blood cells, okay, 
they do slices sa cell kung ika uno nila. Okay, hindi ka nila ginano sa lysosome. Na, the slime layer of the glycocalyx helps the adherence of the bacteria either to themselves by forming colonial masses or the surface in their environment and they resist phagocytosis and the desiccation of your bacteria. Your flagella. Okay? Flagella are long hair-like helical filaments extending from the cytoplasmic membrane to the exterior of your cell. Your flagellin is a highly antigenic and functions in a cell motility. The location of your flagella depends on the bacterial species as your polar uh, situates at the one or both ends. Daily uh, describe na doon. Magpambasin. And swims back and forth fashion with the ocular among the sides. Okay? The parts of your flagella are the filament, ang hook, and the basal body. Okay? Filament is the external to the sa wall and it's connected to the hook of the surface. Then, the hook and the basal body are embedded in the cell envelope. Your hook and filament is composed of protein or subunit called your flagellin. Okay? Your flagellin is synthesized within the cell and passes through the hollow center of your flagella para mas ma-extend ya pa or paano sa patubuon. Okay, the arrangement of your flagella may be described. Okay, this is very important. Okay, uh, kindly remember this. Okay, basic na ni. Your mono, okay, mono stands for one, therefore it is a single flagella on one side. Okay, your lupo, uh, tricus, okay, lupo tricus, a tuft of flagella on one side. Your, <coughs> okay, your ampitricus, okay, a single or a tuft on both sides. Then your petricus, okay, surrounded by lateral flagella. You have here sa dalom an image sa ila mono lupo, okay, di lang isa sa lupo mo many. Then your ampits either damo or tigis sa isa both sides. Then your petri. Then you have here an example sa mga bacteria. Okay, uh, virus types of uh, virus hindi virus. Various types of motility is observed because of the presence of your vagella. And uh, serpentine motility is seen with your salmonella. Darting motility with your vibrio. And tumbling motility with your Listeria monocytogenes. Okay, your pili. Okay, your pili. pili. <laughs> your pili or your fimbriae. Okay, it's a hair-like continuous structure that extends from the cell membrane to the external environment. Okay, ang pili naman niya, which is other known as your fimbriae, they are thinner, shorter, and more numerous than your flagella. Okay, though you di set naman makita, okay, mas nipis siya. Okay, and they do not function in motility. Anong purpose niya? Okay. The fimbriae is composed of a subunit called your pilin. Okay, they are two types of your pili, namely your non-sex pili, pili, your pili, non-sex pili, common or kita tawag na common pili. Right? For example, is your fimbriae or a type of na uh, IV and a sex pili. Okay, the fimbriae and antigenic and mediates and adhesion which inhibits your phagocytosis. Okay, the sex bilay helps in the conjugation. Next, your spores. Ilapit na lang kita ko. Ano yun na? Bisag yun kasi yun. Okay, let's go back. Spores. Okay, ang difference yas sa ah sa imong ah ano ganon sa kapsul. Okay, your spores naman yan, some bacteria have the ability to form highly resistant resting stage called your spores. They help with the, uh, to overcome adverse environmental conditions and are unfavorable for vegetative growth of your cell. They are not reproductive form and, and, and not a storage granule. These spores are resistant to bacterial agent and adverse physical condition. Each spore can give rise to only one endospore and play a role in heat resistance. Your spores consist of 
three layers naming your core, okay, your cortex, and your spore coat. Okay? Compared mo sa aton nga capsule, which is uh, just another layer, okay, ang imong uh, spore is much more uh, resistant. Okay? Okay? May coat pa din siya sa gua. You have your spore coat. Then you have your cortex and your core or the bacteria itself. Okay? You have here, balik ng katis sa your uh, table. Lato yung characteristics sa ating bacteria. Okay? So, parang hindi nang tamaglawid pa. May na-discuss naman ni Gaina. May kindly, uh, this is summarized na lang eh. May kindly read na lang. Okay? Next, ato na yung nga topic is the growth and multiplications of your bacteria. Okay, dili na kita. Ito nga growth curve. Okay, your bacteria divided uh, or multiply sila with a binary fission. Tandaan nyo niya. Binary fission. Not fusion. Fusion is combining. Fission is splitting. Okay? Ang isa ka bacteria must split into two. So, wala di picture. Okay. Okay, so let me show you what is a binary fission. Mm. Ah. This one. Okay. I have here. Okay, your binary fission. Okay, one bacteria. Okay, no. Hello, Brian. Ang iyang DNA. Ginapalaba, yeah. Okay? After yung malaba na, okay, cell wall, plasma, and then, then air nucleoid. So, yun na, you will have what you call here, sa mga babae, that is what you call your cleavage. Okay, your binary cleavage. Then, after that, okay, so my brain begins to constrict. Then, you have your cell wall form. Okay, gintunga na siya. And uh, separate na siya into two identical DNA copies then they separate na ang binary uh, fission okay hindi ko to so many cells to nuclear and can be seen bacterial growth may be considered as a two level increase in the size of individual cells and increase in numbers of cells growth in numbers can be studied by bacterial count that of a total and variable counts the total count gives the number of cells either living or not the variable count measures the number of living cells that are capable of your multiplication so uh, para mag uh, mag isip ka sa mga uh, estimated bacterial growth. Okay? You have here bacterial growth curve. So, what is bacterial growth curve? Okay, it is when bacteria is grown in a suitable liquid medium or mga uh, incubated in a growth medium or follows the definite process. In bacterial counts are carried out in the interval after inoculation and plotted in a, rela a relation to time. A growth curve is obtained. The curve shows the following phases. First nga phase, your lag phase. Okay, immediately follows inoculation. There is no appreciable increase in number. True, although uh, there are many increase in the size of the cell, this is initial period and is required for the adaptation to the new nga environment. Kaya bago lang sila na inoculate. Kaya anong term nga inoculate? Bago lang sila na butang sa imong nga growth media para magdamo. Okay? This initial period is in a time required for the patient in an increment. And this lag phase varies with phase, uh, mga types of species. Okay? And also nature of the culture medium and temperature kung sa diin mo sila ginapa, tubo. Okay? Different type of species has different type of uh, time para magmultiply sila. Next is your log phase or exponential phase. Tandaan nyo lang ha, lag phase, then delay, lag phase luat, or exponential phase. Tandaan nyo lang, una ang letter A kasa sa letter O. Okay? Following the lag phase is the, sta uh, is the start for the cells to divide and their numbers increase exponential by the 
time. Ano ginamit niya exponential? Because it is raised sa 2 or square. Uh, exponential kay ga multiply siya in binary or by 2s. Okay? Next is your stationary phase. Okay, period of exponential growth cell division, uh, cell division stops due to the depletion na sa nutrients na use up na nila ang pagkaon nga ara sa imong medium and accumulation of toxic nga products din halin na mga toxic products halin man sa mga bacteria or mga microorganism nga by products mga waste products mismo sa microorganism the valuable count remains stationary as an equilibrium exists between the dying cells and the newly formed nga cells nga man as the nutrients Deplete, buhay namin makao ng ibang nga bacteria, mapatay sila. Ang ibang nga bastante pia kung sa, bak, uh, sa nutrients, mabuhik pa. Then, mamultiply pa. Okay? That's how the, uh, the may stationary phase ka na. Next is the phase of the decline. Okay? Whereas, ang mga pagkaon or ang nutrients goes below na gate. This is the phase when the population of uh, is decreased due to cell death. Okay. The various stages of bacterial growth curve is associated with the morphological and physiological acceleration uh, alteration of the cell. The maximum cell size is obtained toward the end of the lag phase. Okay, in your lag, okay, sa so lag phase, this is the first na phase, and in your log phase, ang second, okay, uh, cells are smaller and stained uniformly in the stationary phase. Cells are frequently ground valuable and show irregular staining due to the presence of cellular storage and use. Your spore, uh, spore relation, of course, in this stage also many bacteria produces uh, secondary metabolic products such as your exotoxins and antibiotics. And evolution form are uh, common in this phase of decline. Okay, let na lang Let na lang. Okay, there are factors that affects your Growth of your bacteria. Okay, so do usually do mga common sense na lang or talandaan lang. Do, do parehas lang as tao. What are your requirements for you to grow to live? Kamo na. Okay, many factors affects your generation or generation time or pag growth mo sa mga bacteria or organisms like your temperature, your oxygen level, your carbon dioxide level, your light, if it is uh, photo uh, photophobic, Okay, or sensitive sa light or dependent sa light. Then you have your pH level. It's either acid or base. Then you have your moisture. Moisture means water uh, con concentration, water content. Then your salt concentration. Uh, we know that mga common bacteria, okay, salt kills them. Pero may mga bacteria man nga ga buhi with the right amount of salt or may gina pangayo nga minimum salt concentration. First of all, you have your nutrients. Okay? Your nutrients, the principal constituent of the cells are your water, proteins, polysaccharides, your lipids, your nucleic acid, and mucopeptides. For the growth of multiplication of your bacteria, the minimum nutritional requirement is your water, a source of carbon, nitrogen, and some inorganic salts. Okay? Your bacteria can be classified nutritionally based on their energy requirement and on their ability to synthesize essential metabolites. Okay, your bacteria which derive their energy from the sunlight are called your phototrophs. Bacteria that depends on sun or sunlight, it's what you call your phototrophs. Okay, those who obtain energy uh, from chemical reactions are what you call your chemotrophs. Okay, so anong common lang nila? The trope. Okay, if you talk about photo, you're talking about sun. When you're talking about chemo, you're talking about chemical reactions. Okay, very basic. Bacteria which can synthesize all the organic compounds are called your autotrophs. Okay, they do not need sunlight or chemical reactions. Okay, they produce or synthesize their organic compounds. Okay, and those that are able to synthesize with their own, okay, your met own nga, nga metabolites are called your heterotrophs. Okay? Cannot uh, synthesize. Hetero. Okay? Some bacteria require certain organic compounds in minute quantity 
in minute 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 uh, quantities small amount okay minute these are no uh, known as your growth factors or bacterial vitamins your growth factors are called your essentials when growth does not occur in their absence and they are necessary for it next is oxygen oxygen level depending on the influence of the oxygen and the growth of the viability of your bacteria are divided into aerobes and anaerobes okay aerobic or anaerobic okay, your aerobic bacteria requires oxygen for growth they may be obligate aerobes like your cholera vibrio and will only grow in the presence of oxygen or facultative and aerobic uh, which are originally aerobic but can also grow with your absence of oxygen Claro ang taliwat ha okay your aerobic ng bacteria requires oxygen to grow examples are your cholera and vibrio okay the term facultative okay you have here obligate okay obligado gid nga aerobic bacteria it need gid ya oxygen mabuhi okay then your facultative okay okay which will grow in the presence of oxygen okay or facultative aerobes okay your facultative aerobes naman ya class they require oxygen to grow okay originally pero kay kung wala man lang oxygen okay they will still grow okay gets nyo it's either may oxygen or wala oxygen they will grow Okay. Most bacteria of your medical importance are facultative aerobes. Okay? Aerobic bacteria such as your Clostridia grow in the absence of oxygen and obligate an aerobe. Okay? Ano naman yung an aerobe? Your obligate an aerobe. Okay? This requires zero oxygen sa ilang uh, environment. Okay, kung may presence sa oxygen, it will kill the bacteria, hindi mag-grow ang bacteria. Okay? Your microaerophilic bacteria are those that grows with the best presence of a low oxygen tension. May aritan kita nga, may requirement lang sa oxygen, pero a minute amount, small amount. Next is carbon dioxide. Okay? Your, all carbon, uh, all bacteria require small amount of carbon dioxide for Okay, wait lang. Nagulan. Okay, so let us now continue. Okay. So, clarification na. Okay, last nga sa Marisa, itong oxygen dependent. Okay. Your aerobic requires growth, uh, requires oxygen for growth. Okay. Then your obligate aerobes, okay, like your clera, will grow only in the presence of your oxygen. However, okay, tanda yung name na ni, facultative an aerobe an aerobe okay which is aerobic sila pero they can grow with a presence well, without uh, with the absence or without oxygen that's why they are called your facultative aerobes okay uh, best example ni is uh, your staphylococcus aureus okay ko yung staphylococcus aureus this uh, Ano na sila? Uh, normal flora sa mga skin. Then, nagpilasan ka. Okay? Sumulod ang staphylococcus aureus. Naghilom ang imong pilas. Okay? May staphylococcus aureus sa sulod. Okay? Na, amo na ah, ka sa maka infection ka. Okay? Okay, so now, they are originally aerobic pero mag-grow sila gyapon. Okay? Kung mag, ano na yung mga pilas mag-close, okay? they can still grow, they can still multiply. Sa mga pilas, kaya kung nag-close yung mga pilas, ang yung mga environment, okay, it will now be anaerobic now or no oxygen. So, last na lang, you have your carbon dioxide. Bacteria will require small amount of carbon dioxide for grow. This require is a requirement, is usually meant by carbon dioxide present in the presence. Some bacteria, like your Brucoya uh, burtus, requires much higher level of carbon dioxide. Then, say mo temperature naman yung class. Okay, temperature is very important sa itong mga bacteria. Okay, when you, are, when you are talking about mga pathologic ng bacteria, therefore, the temperature requirement nila 
is your body temperature when you are culturing them. Okay? Pero kung mga bacteria lang uh, sa wild or sa atong environment, okay, it is in a room temperature. Kung uh, uh, that's why sa atong as a human body nga living, okay, having the right temperature, okay, is a defensive mechanism tanan na sa mga uh, invasive ng mga bacteria or microorganism. Okay? That's why for us nga maging, maging magkasakit ka, you have a fever, kung you are infected with a microorganism, okay, our body increases the temperature of uh, the body itself, okay, to kill the microorganism kung ano mang naka-infect sa imo. So, you have here the temperature in which growth is known to our optimum uh, optimum temperature. Bacteria which grows the best temperature around 25 to 40 degrees Celsius are called your mesophilic. Your physocrophilic naman yung bacteria, those grows at the temperature below uh, 20 degrees Celsius or ang room temperature. Ang room temperature ties around 22 to 25 degree Celsius. Another group of your non-pathologic bacteria are your thermophiles. Okay? Thermophiles grow at the best of high temperatures around 55 to 80 degree Celsius. The lowest temperature that kills the bacterium under a standard condition in a given time is your thermal death point. So, tandaan nyo lang yung term, thermal death point. Okay? The lowest temperature that kills the bacterium. Okay? Different bacteria has different type of thermal death point. Now you have here your moisture and dye. The water is essential for ingredient for your bacteria, uh, bacterial protoplasm, and hence the drying or is lethal to the cell. The effect of drying varies in different species. Okay. Then you have your light. Okay, bacteria except for phototropic. Okay, species grows well in the dark. Okay, they are sensitive to UVs. Okay, nga ginahalin sa itong nga uh, sun and also sa mga UV lights. And under radiation. So, okay, cultures dies in exposed to light. Then you have your H ion or concentration sa itong nga H ion or sa pH. Okay, your bacteria are sensitive with the virus in your pH. Each uh, species has different uh, pH range above or below. Okay, which is can, uh, cannot survive at the optimum pH and it, which grows best. Okay, the majority of your pathologic bacteria grows best at a neutral and slightly alkaline pH or 7.2 to 7.6 pH. Then your osmotic effect. Okay, your osmotic effect. Okay, osmotic effect is the bacteria are more tolerant to osmotic variation than most other cells due to the mechanical strength of their cell wall. Okay? Sudden exposure to hypertonic solution okay, may cause osmotic withdrawal of water and shrinkage of the protoplasm called your fa uh, plasmolysis. Okay, osmotic, okay, uh, kung ang so wala idea what osmotic ginamag is the water uh, concentration. Okay, uh, is ang iyang ang uyang unod okay ang unod sang bacteria okay so here you have what you have learned so this is the long chapter uh, kini ya okay so that would be all sa aton nga first part sa aton nga chapter 4 so stay tuned sa aton nga part 2 sa aton nga part 4 thank you